Hello, my dudes. You're really annoying. First things first, let's meet the gang. <laughs> the outside looks like a Dalmatian. Now you've met the three stooges of this particular van, telling for Willow, the first of these three, to explain to you the whole process of preparing for and building of our new vessel and home. It might sound a bit dramatic, but it feels a bit dramatic. We had to dismantle our old home, Juno, whom we loved very much, and move in to a van, which we now had to fit three people in. The start of building a new home is always the hardest. We're literally in the south of Spain building a van because our last van, we couldn't keep driving it. So now we're in the middle of, to us, nowhere, in a foreign language, trying to figure out getting all the stuff we need, getting all together and building a new van. So yeah, it's complicated, but when the universe gives you a ticket, you must take it and go. And so that's what we had to do. We took this van, our ticket from the universe, to set out on our new journey and face whatever has to come. So that meant prepping the van, getting rid of all the rust spots, and then setting out to find the materials of which we will use to build. A build which must get done quickly and as efficiently as possible. As a triage, we agreed that we wanted this build to be cost as cost efficient as possible. So we set out to our local haunts and find scrap wood, which, yeah, sure, looks bad now, but can be taken and refurbed to use for the new structure, base structure of our new home. And another amazing thing about all this scrapped wood is that no one was going to use it, but we found such an abundant amount that we had plenty. It's probably our biggest lesson on how not to be wasteful and how important and useful recycling, upcycling and all that shebang can be for you. Whoa, and that how much in the shop? For um, one piece? About five euros. This would be. Bloody hell. This is so good. That's basically brand new. I think it's perfect, yeah. Now loaded up with more wood than we knew what to do with and a newfound hope in our hearts, we were more than ready to take this wood home. Good. And among the ghosts, ghost, ghost, haunted, haunted hotel, abandoned. No, among the goat madness, we had to pick up the wood, saw it into appropriate pieces that would fit into the van. friends. Look at all of these. <laughs> these are all my friends. Isn't that right guys? Yeah, that's what I call life. And after that short goat break, it's 
back to slicing up the wood, make those posts and slap them in a van to build a structure. And I say you or we, but I mean Ricky, he was the one who built this an entire van. Now listen, we are aware that the build of this van does look somewhat like that of an 18th century barn. But that is because we are under a time crunch. We have a journey to undertake. One that must be undertaken soon and swiftly. We didn't have time to dilly-dally around the preparations of building the perfect van to live in. For we know this is merely our ticket, a temporary solution to our current problem. So we had fun with it. We laughed, we danced, we sang, we sat, we drew, we whatever you want to say. Because at the end of this day, this van was for us to be able to resume our lives and not for it to be a continuation of the same problems we've faced. Like I said before, this is now our new vessel. When the universe shows you your way, you don't spend all day dilly-dallying about what you think you should do. Sorry guys, I'm no longer a, a van lifer, I'm now a barn lifer. <laughs> Catch me on that farm life. <laughs> oh, is this sleeping in this awesome, unique bed? And so with our purpose found and a structure coming into its final essence in which we could sleep in our new home, now it's just the final touches before we put everything in and get back on the road. Then. So our van bed made. It's looking more homely. <laughs> Yeehaw, baby, a new adventure begins. With the naked traveler at the helm, where can we go wrong? Wish us some good luck. Please subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe to The Naked Traveller. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. To let me out of this cage. Please. Some real adventures. Subscribe for real adventures. Follow for the real adventures. And if you're interested in seeing what we do as we do it, well, a more up-to-date version rather than waiting for the vlog of our adventures to come out do subscribe to the juno's journeys instagram for all the latest information on us and our travels see you next time